Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I will show you how to manually create a quiz. Uh, quizzes are under this line here. Here you see quiz. It's highlighted for you. I'm going to go and follow through just a sample quiz. Okay. Uh, I am going to click on the top right hand corner. Add quiz. The plus quiz means add quiz. I have to give the quiz a name. Let me call it sample quiz. This is for the instruction. The, the questions are not going to be built here. You just put a general instruction about the quiz. It is a graded quiz. Some quiz are not graded. There are options here. You can do survey, you can do ungraded survey, and a quiz or a practice quiz. Let me have a graded quiz. Uh, the assignment group by default says attendance. You can use any of the groups here. If I have a bunch of questions, I can have the option to shuffle them so that two students will not have the same question. The time limit, you can have a timed quiz by clicking here and putting how many minutes you want. If it is a two hour quiz, you put 120 and so on. Allow multiple attempts. They can go back and change their mind and they can do another answer if you allow it. Otherwise, it won't allow them, it will lock it. Let students see their quiz response. Uh, I will not check this one. This is more like a feedback to the student, uh, whether they have gotten the right answer or not. Show one question at a time. You can do that as well. Uh, any qu Under quiz restriction, what you see is require an access code. If it is an external exam of some, some sort, they have their access code. It will, you have to require that so that they have to type in Once you click it. Uh, to do it. Then the code has to be written here. Put honesty. I use that a lot. Uh, yeah, but that access code, you have to give it to the students. Yeah. And the students have to type this. Otherwise, it will not open the, uh, the test for, for them. This is intended for, uh, of course, online learners and, uh, so that they will not be able to cheat. They have to know the access code. Mm -hmm. Filter IP addresses is, is also uh, limiting the students to certain area. For instance, if I give the, the IP address of Fisk University, they cannot take it from any other location, but they have to come to Fisk. And you don't want to do that. Therefore, IP addresses are done for uh, external uh, examiners. They use that. Assigned to, it says everyone. That's a default value, otherwise you can assign it to only certain students by clicking here. Some of the students can take that course but not others. And the due date, you can put the due date here. Uh, the due date will be overridden, however, by the available date. If the due date is one month, the available date is only 15 days, this takes precedence over the due date then you have to keep that in mind. Uh, there are other configurations by adding the number of students and so on and so forth. Then you can click on save to save it or save and publish to make it available immediately for the students. Now let's show you how to add questions. I go to edit again. It is a sample quiz, all those things that you see, I will go to the questions on the top here. There are three types of questions, no question, no question group, find a question. I am going to be creating this quiz manually, therefore I am going to be using no question. The no question group is suppose you have created a group where you have imported uh, external uh, test bank, you will use that. <coughs> Now, since I am creating a new question, I will click on new question. 
And a new question means, what kind of question is it? Is it a multiple choice? Mm -hmm. Is it a true false? Fill in the blank? Uh, multiple blanks? And so on. You have all these options. If I start with multiple choice question, for instance, I'll take that, I'll put the question right here. Uh, <coughs> when was this university established? I don't know if this is a correct mm -hmm. Okay, the correct answer. Eight. You put 1866. Is it? Mm -hmm. 1866. You put the correct answer there. You see the correct answer by way of green here. Okay? And all other answers for the multiple choice will be 1844. 1766, 1929. Okay, uh, you can add more choice, but I just go only for this. That's usually enough. Update that. That one question is done. Shall I go another one? Yeah. Scoot up, uh, go up some. Uh, if you click on show question details, put that Yeah, in. it will show you the question details and what, what I put in. And see that, I usually do that for the first yeah. 25 and, questions. And it will show you what the correct answer mm -hmm. is right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, do another question. Then you can add another question. And you, you may change the question type. Mm -hmm. The true and false. The two, two, true and false. This is zero. I don't know what that mascot is. Uh, is it T? Uh huh. Um, I don't know what it is. A lion. Huh? Is true or false? Therefore, this thing is not true. Then I just want to the answer to be false. Okay. okay. The answer is false. That's it. And update question. When you finish, you can save and publish. That's it. You can preview what you did so far. Preview. There you go. You know? Let's see. Here you go. Here you go. It is one at a time. It's showing. Mm -hmm. 